okay uh, good morning so in uh, last lecture we saw uh, the types of the coals and the uh, the basics of the thermal power plant okay so the types of coal there are four main types okay which are available uh, uh, four types of coals are available and generally from which we are generally using lignite and bituminous type of coal because it is having less moisture content and also there is a high carbon content in this particular uh, types of the coals the anthracite coal is very uh, efficient and it is having highest amount of carbon content and less amount of uh, least amount of moisture content but the availability of anthracite coal is very less in india so generally we are using lignite type of coal and bituminous type of coal okay now the import of coal we as we know uh, the import of coal is very uh, less whenever we compare it to the other petroleum products because in india there are uh, most uh, there are many coal mines are there which is having lignite type of uh, uh, coal okay for bituminous type of coal are generally ex imported from china australia etc okay and even from some part of uh, africa uh, africa we are importing the bituminous type of coal so there are different uh, type wise capacity addition during the 12th plan where we you can see there are thermal power plant in which coal is used as a fuel it is having capacity nearly 66000 or 67000 megawatt it is the figures related to the 12th plan now the amount of the energy generated by the coal thermal power plant or coal based power plant has been increased the land requirement as we discussed in last lecture required very huge land for the whenever we is trying to uh, install the thermal power plant okay because there is a th uh, actually we have to construct the thermal power plant which is having many subsystems having many subsystems okay each subsystem required huge land like in the cooling towers and all those things okay so uh this land requirement is also most important uh, factor in this uh, whenever we consider to install the thermal power plant so first of all we required the land for the coal based power plant which is uh, uh, this the core of this particular thermal power plant we required some land okay whenever we select the site there are the different factors which we already discussed okay we required to first of all analyze the soil conditions and then we have to go for the construction because the weight of the thermal power plant is very high so that particular soil must be bear that particular weight so we have to first analyze the soil conditions okay after soil conditions we are going to consider this land for the construction again this land which is available it must be near to the different coal mines the fuel must be easily available at that particular site okay next if the coal mine the, if that particular construction of the thermal power plant is situated far away from the coal mines in that case we have to stock that coal uh, those stock uh, uh, procedure or that uh, that rule we already discussed okay so <clears throat> the number of factors which are affecting or whenever we considering the land site like the capacity of the plant unit size which is uh, we are going to adopt then the quality of the coal available its storage requirements most importantly storage requirement type of uh, cooling water system adopted and then the source of raw water and its storage requirement and plant design aspect so these are the different factors we have to consider whenever we going to select the land or the we required the land which is based upon these particular factors for coal based plant land is basically required for the main plant as well as the subsystems okay there are many subsystems like the story uh, coal handling system is there then the ash uh, recycling system is there ash store we have to store the ash uh, ash as well as we have to store the coal so for that we required huge land okay then the pipe corridors like for the ash and raw water and the township whatever the labor required for this particular power plant uh, to uh, <clears throat> the required township to ac uh, accommodate those particular labor uh, labor uh, okay so these are the uh, land requirement also plants based on the imported coal require less land as compared to the based on indigenous coal because uh, in whenever we import the coal we require uh, we uh, stock up that 
uh, that only finite amount of the coal uh, which is required for 15 days or the 30 days or 20 days okay so in that case we required less amount of uh, uh, amount of land okay so these are the requirement and on these particular factors the land requirement has been based now next so that is the uh, regarding thermal power plant now these are the different uh, uh, the land requirement in acres for per megawatt okay if there is a 500 megawatt there are two power plant of 500 megawatts or total combined uh, capacity of that power plant is 1000 megawatt in that case for the main power plant we required 600 acres okay and for ash dike we required 500 acres other facilities we required 220 acres and for the township we required roughly 1 100 acres so for the 1000 megawatt of power plant we generally required 1420 acres of land so that means that is the huge land we required whenever we going to plan or construct the particular power plant if you consider or if you divide this by the total capacity of the power plant it will become 1.42 means we for each megawatt of installation we require 1.42 uh, acres of land so this land must be available okay because uh, in many cases this land may not be available near to the coal coal mines or near to the load okay in that case we have to cons uh, we have to first analyze uh, we have to consider the land where is land uh, land available then we are going to construct that land uh, construct the power plant on that particular land okay similarly for different capacity of power plants we uh, we can you can see the different requirement of the uh, that particular la uh, land as the capacity of that particular power plant will increases again the land requirement total land requirement is going to be increases okay so based upon that uh, it is again depends upon which type of subsystems you are going to install in the particular power plant so that is the end of uh, our thermal power plant the different uh, the basic information regarding the thermal power plant now in india there are many thermal power plants has been installed okay so we are going to see that particular thermal power plant i will just show you so you can also see those thermal power plants okay you have to just go to this particular site vedas.sac.government.in it is a government a government site okay which is uh, created by space application center uh, which is came under the isro so you can see here this there is a energy map of india in which you can find out you can see the different power plants installed all across the uh, all across the india okay so you can see on the left hand side there is a power plants if you click on power plants you all the power plants which are available in india it has been shown okay it is shown different coal power plants are there different diesel power plants are there hydroelectric power plants are there small hydroelectric power plants are there natural gas power plant there pumped storage water power plants are there only nuclear power plants are not shown in this particular figure because of the uh, secrecy we required or the uh, safety we required for the nuclear power plant so all other power plants has been uh, so, uh, shown in this particular map so if you select coal based power plant you can you can see that all the coal based power plant which are constructed in the india okay so you can see in generally in maharashtra you can also zoom in so you can understand what are the different power plants are there okay so you can first of all you can observe there are <coughs> the thermal power plants are situated or the distributed all over the india okay generally those are situated near to the uh, western uh, eastern part of maharashtra and these particular uh, this particular region okay chatisgarh region west bengal region because here the coal mines are present okay there are many numbers of coal mines which are present in this particular area uh, in the eastern part of maharashtra uh, in chatisgarh uh, and in the west bengal okay here most of the power uh, mines coal mines are available in this particular area that's why you can see there is a concentration of uh, thermal power plant but generally the thermal based or the coal based power plant, thermal power plants which are situated in this particular region okay if we zooming for the maharashtra 
you will under uh, you will see the different power plants which are situated you can see here this is the ratnagiri power plant if you select on that particular dot you will see the uh, particular information regarding this but uh, regarding that particular power plant okay so this near to the ratnagiri there is a jsw ratnagiri thermal power plant which is again coal based its total installation capacity is 1200 so 1200 uh, megawatt that is the total installation capacity similarly you can see the other thermal power plants so the thermal power plant which is installed near trombe that is also you can see then thermal power plant near to the nashik okay that also you can see that is the phase 1 power plant uh then near to the jalgaon busawal thermal power plant is there so you can easily got uh, uh, see those thermal power plant which are situated uh, all over across the india okay so this particular site it is very useful you can refer this site to understand or to find out the locations of thermal power plants similarly diesel based power plant so instead of coal we are using diesel that's it okay and generally these diesel based power plants uh, those are also working on the ranking cycle as well as this is used in the gas power plants also okay we just combustion uh, carry out the combustion of diesel in the combustion chamber and after that you will get the, uh, the get the power so similarly diesel based power plant you can also see Uh, there is a one diesel based power plant in the lakshadweep right there is a two diesel based power plant in andaman nicobar now there are some advantages disadvantages of the diesel based power plant also because uh, the the size of the diesel based power plant is very small okay there is only one ic engine which is connected to the uh, dg set or the generator set okay that is that type of diesel power plant or the uh, power plants are Uh, install or we are generally used so you can uh, you can see the size of that power plant that type of power plants is very small okay even you see in the many applications so during the uh, the different application you will see there are uh, diesel generator sets okay those the, those are the diesel power plants in which we are using ic engine okay then even you can see hydrolytic power plant so you can see these uh, these are the hydrolytic power plant you will observe that this hydrolytic power plant is generally near situated near the hilly areas you can see on the left hand side on left hand side you will see those hydrolytic power plant are situated uh, near to the western ghat then on the uh, on the north side you will see those are situated along the himalayan regions ranges okay most of the hydrolytic power plants are near to this Uh, himachal ranges now these hydrolytic power plants these are the near to the uh, arauli or vindha parvat okay so likewise these are mostly situated near to the hilly areas and that is the one of the constraint of hydrolytic power plant because whenever we required a large amount of uh, uh, large amount of water flows water must be present there okay also the topography must be matched to the requirement okay that is the requirement of the hydrolytic power plant now you can see you all know the one of main uh, main hydrolytic power plant which is near situated in the maharashtra that is the koina power plant okay which is near to the patan it is having three phases okay one phase is near to the patan which is having 600 megawatt uh, capacity second phase that is the 1000 megawatt of capacity and third phase near to the ratnagiri that is having 320 megawatt of capacity so three different uh, turbines or the different power so, uh, houses are there okay near to the koina similarly you can see the different hydrolytic power plant that is kdph hydrolytic power plant then the bhuvpuri hydrolytic power plant etc okay so these are the hydrolytic power plant similarly you can also see small hydrolytic power plant okay so these are the small hydrolytic power plant in the koina also koina region also there are small amount of uh, power plants are available okay so likewise you can find out the different power plants which are available very small amount of power plants which will uh, having the capacity less than 25 megawatt okay 
similarly natural gas power plant that also you can see again the pumped storage type of hydro power plants those are there so by using this particular uh, site you will find out the different power plants location in the india generally it from all these power uh, types of power plant most of the power plants are coal power based power plant because nearly 60% of energy will be produced by the coal based power plant okay that is the reality so you will see the coal based power plants are generally situated or the distributed all along the uh, india okay similarly you can also see district type uh, or district wise renewable energy installed capacity so renewable energy type of uh, resources or the power plant also you can see these are the mode wise renewable energy okay there are the different modes are there and by using this one you will find out the different modes okay so you can also see this is the solar solar will be uh, given in that uh, in the uh, in this particular uh, color then wind is there biomass is there small hydro is there and waste recovery heat is there so these are the different types of uh, modes or the uh, uh, this mode wise renewable energy installed capacity again in that you can also see the biomass power plants then the small hydro power plants then the solar power plant so by checking these boxes you can easily find out the uh, location of those types of power plants again wind turbine power plants you can see these are the wind turbine power plants okay details of these power plants we are going to see after msc okay in the unit number 4 5 and 6 so you will just uh, you can use this particular site to find out the locations of the different power plants and their capacities okay now coal reserves that is another important factor whenever we considering the thermal power plant if you see the coal mines different coal mines if you see considering this one you will you can see the coal reserves in india you can see most of the coal reserves are in western uh, sorry eastern part of maharashtra in vidarbha uh, then eastern part of telangana then uh, northern part of chatisgarh odisha and uh, jharkhand also all, all over the jharkhand you will find out the different reserves and the uh, northern part of the west bengal okay so that's why most of these particular uh, thermal power plants are installed near to this coal mine so the transportation cost will be saved okay you can also see uh, different coal washeries which are present okay as we discussed earlier coal washeries what is mean by coal washeries and all those things then lignite mines these are the lignite mines okay which are present inside the rajasthan and all those things then coal fields different coal fields near to the uh, eastern part of maharashtra then the coal fields those are the reserves okay you can see most of these coal reserves are concentrated near to the northern side of odisha all over the jharkhand and northern side of chatisgarh okay so that's why most of the thermal power plants are based in this particular area of uh, india okay so by using this particular one particular map or this uh, site you can find out the locations of the different types of power plants in india okay again you can find out the petroleum and natural gas the uh, different wells okay these are the oil and gas wells okay but the, the production of this uh, oil from these wells are very limited that's why we required to uh, import most of the petroleum uh, product from the uh, other uh, other countries generally from russia and the middle east then these are these are the different uh, refineries which are available and uh, now the ethanol plants these are the ethanol plants now ethanol plants which are again uh, known as the cogeneration projects or the ethanol projects near to uh, all over uh, all the sugar factories okay now ethanol production has been increased so all sugar factories you can see uh, sugar factories you can see those producing the ethanol those are shown here okay in even kolhapur also there is you can see dalmia sugar factory which is near to asurlepurle which will generate the ethanol similarly other power plants you can see then sri chatrapati shahu 
सहकारी शेतकरी कारखाना दॅट इज ऑल्सो विच इज नियर टू दी कागल इट इज ऑल्सो प्रोड्युसिंग दी इथेनॉल सो दॅट्स दॅट्स हाऊ यू विल फाइंड आउट मोस्ट ऑफ दी इथेनॉल प्रोजेक्ट इन महाराष्ट्र अँड उत्तर प्रदेश बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ दी शुगर केन प्रोडक्शन विल बी टेकन इन महाराष्ट्र जनरली इन द वेस्टर्न महाराष्ट्र अँड दी उत्तर प्रदेश ओके सो लाईक वाईज यू विल फाइंड आउट दी डिफरंट पाईपलाईन्स ऑल्सो दीज आर दी नॅचरल गॅस पाईपलाईन्स दॅन पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट पाईपलाईन्स दीज आर दी पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट पाईपलाईन्स अँड सेडिमेंटरी बेसिंग ओके सो लाईक वाईज यू कॅन फाइंड आउट ऑल द data related to the energy sector of india okay even you can find out the transmission lines okay these are the transmission lines if you will see the legend you can also see the transmission line the transmission line based upon its voltage capacity okay so by uh, i will share the link of this particular uh, site you will easily understand uh, the availability of the coal mines and the coal based power plants location of the coal based power plants by using this particular site okay so that's that's it regarding the thermal power plant if anybody have any doubt regarding it you can ask uh, the pump type of storage power plant means what uh, we will going to discuss it okay in the subsequent slides pump storage power plant means what generally what is happening uh, uh, the we cannot store the electricity okay that is the basics you cannot store the electricity or whatever the energy in the form of electricity we have to store the electricity or the, uh, in the when we first we have to convert that in other type of energy okay then you can store the electric uh, store that particular energy means uh, if you have excess electricity excess electricity generated in the hydroelectric power plant in that case we have to Uh, uh we cannot store the electricity directly so in that case we have to convert that electricity in that uh, in the form of thermal power, uh, thermal energy or in the form of chemical energy okay then we can store this particular uh, energy okay so when there is a low demand generally in uh, in the case of uh, night okay where when there is a low demand of electricity we cannot vary the uh vary the output coming out from the thermal power plant and even from the hydroelectric power plant okay so with uh, in that particular condition what we do with the excess amount of electricity which is generated by the hydroelectric uh, hydroelectric power plant it is used to pump the water again from uh, from the basing to the dam okay manje je basing asnar ahe titun punna apan water kay karto pump karto to the Uh, store uh, storage or the reservoir okay mag je excess electricity electricity asse what is the excess uh, excess electricity is available that, that electricity is used to pump back the water from basing to the again to the reservoir okay so that is known as the that is known as the pump storage okay is that clear harshodan okay so next type of power plant that we are going to see that is the gas turbine power plant again the basics of gas turbine power plant uh, the different types of the uh, the situations or the location of the gas power plants in in india that we are going to see and general review of gas turbine power plant you already this uh, you already studied the details of gas power plant how it will work just we are going to review that process uh, so the gas turbine power plant okay it will contain three main components the first one is compressor second one is the combustion chamber and third one is the turbine okay now what is happening first of all what we do we take the fresh air from the atmosphere this is the open type of uh, gas turbine power plant which is working on on cycle okay so here what we do we first of all take fresh air from the atmosphere now this fresh air is compressed inside the compressor okay in compressor what we do we increase its pressure 
because of the increment in the pressure the temperature is also going to be increasing so at outlet of compressor there is a high temperature high pressure air is present now this high temperature high pressure air is uh, coming to the combustion chamber where we adding the fuel that may be that fuel may be a petrol or diesel okay or gender, uh, in many cases we are also using the lpg uh, or compressed natural gas for this particular turbine so that fuel will be combustion uh, combustion, uh, combustion takes place in the combustion chamber with the help of air and fuel and after combustion what will happen that fuel will release the tremendous amount of thermal energy and because of that what will happen the whatever the combustion gases are there or the exhaust gases are there or the generally we call it as a flue gases it is having very high temperature and very high pressure as we increase the temperature its pressure will going to be increases now this high temperature high pressure uh, flue gases will be came into turbine and here here it will expand okay and because of the expansion turbine will run or the turbine will rotate and this turbine is connected to the generator okay and after the turbine whatever the flue gases exhaust gases are there those are simply rejected to the atmosphere this is the basic cycle of simple gas turbine power plant okay now this gas turbine power plant is generally run on the breton cycle which is containing the two isothermal cycles means constant entropy cycles and two constant pressure process sorry uh, two isothermal uh, isentropic uh, processes and two constant pressure processes okay you can see how to plot this on pv property diagram and ts property diagram okay so it will contain four main uh, four main processes first one isentropic compression which is taken inside taken place inside the compressor this is the ideal cycle okay it is not real cycle in real cycle we cannot achieve the uh, ideal processes okay so isentropic compression is there first one second constant pressure heat addition that is uh, the heat combustion of the fuel inside the combustion chamber then isentropic expansion will take place inside the turbine and fourth one is the constant pressure heat rejection now this fourth process will take place when we use the particularly closed type of gas turbine power plant in closed type of gas turbine power plant what will happen uh, the here the fuel is not going to be combustion in uh, the uh, there is a heat exchanger instead of the combustion chamber okay here what will happen whatever the compressed air is there it will pass through the heat exchanger and outer side from the outer side there is a combustion will take place and up because of the combustion heat will be transferred to the this particular air okay now that air which is having very high temperature pressure is going to be expanded inside the turbine now similar after the expansion in turbine it will again transfer through the heat exchanger here it is the heat exchanger where we reject the heat to the atmosphere and again this air has been used as a uh, as a pressure inside the compressor so this is the closed type of the uh, gas turbine power plant so in that case you will see this constant pressure heat rejection process inside this heat exchanger okay again this is the one one of the type of gas turbine power plant now what are the different factors of the gas turbine okay so principle of operation there uh, how we it will operate okay first of all you just see the gas turbine power plant is very compact okay its size is very compact this type of engines we are generally used in the, uh, the different uh, uh, different what we can say jet engines you generally call it as a jet engines in that also we are using the gas turbine type of power plant okay so intake there are different components that is the intake is there compressor are uh, compressor is there combustion uh, combustion chamber is there turbine is there and then the nozzle or free turbine is there okay so you can see these are the, these type of uh, power plants are used in the jet engines okay which are used uh, again used in the different military combat aeroplanes okay so here how it is work first of all the air will be introduced air will be taken from the intake it will compressed in the compressor this type uh, this particular part you will see this is the compressor okay 
after compression this air will be came into the combustion chamber this one is known as a combustion chamber and these particular tubes you will see these are the injector fuel injector okay fuel will be injected inside the combustion chamber combustion will happen because of the combustion temperature of the uh, of this fuel gases will be increased and because of the increment in temperature pressure is going to be increased okay so at the outlet you will get a very high temperature and high pressure flue gases are there now this flue gases will expand inside the turbine so this part is known as the turbine okay because of the expansion of the gases what will happen because of the expansion of the gases you will see expansion of the gases will take place and this turbine is going to be rotated okay and up, uh, from here from the outlet outlet of the turbine sorry from the outlet of the turbine this flue gases will be uh, came out with very high speed which will again create the reaction force on this particular turbine and because of that this particular uh, military jet will be uh, start moving okay so this is the basic operation or the basic uh, working of the gas turbine power uh, gas turbine okay and uh, these are the main components of the gas turbine power plant okay now you already studied this what are the different components of the gas turbine uh, what are the advantages disadvantages that also we are going to see the most important uh, point we are going to see that is the private sector okay generally this gas turbine power plant which are situated in uh, which are constructed inside the india those are run by the different private sector okay which each uh, particular institute or the particular company will run different types of the uh, gas turbine uh, power plants uh, these advantages disadvantages also we are going to see and also we are going to see uh, what is the capacity which is installed by that particular corporation okay now that we are going to see in the next lecture and also video related to this particular uh, point okay so now we will stop here if anybody have any doubt you can ask now